Reciprocals can come in handy when we are trying to simplify expressions, especially when these expressions contain fractions. So think about this. 1 over a is the reciprocal of a. And we say that that is true by definition. This statement is true because we define reciprocal such that that is the reciprocal of a. So that's true by definition, and that's true for any number a. It's also true for any variable or any mathematical expression. So I could have 1 over x minus 3, for example. That is, by definition, the reciprocal of x minus 3. Now, what if instead of a mathematical expression down here, what if we have a fraction? So what if we have something like this, 1 over 5 thirds. Well, 1 over 5 thirds, by the definition of reciprocal, 1 over 5 thirds is the reciprocal of 5 thirds. And we know what the reciprocal of 5 thirds is. The reciprocal of 5 thirds would be 3 fifths. So 1 over 5 thirds has to be the same thing as 3 fifths. I'll say that again. 1 over 5 thirds is the reciprocal of 5 thirds. And we know that the reciprocal of 5 thirds is 3 fifths. So 1 over 5 thirds has to be 3 fifths. So on the printed notes, you can fill this in. It says, therefore, 1 over 5 thirds is 3 over 5. And this concept applies to any fraction. 1 over 2 ninths is 9 halves. And we can state this concept in general terms by using variables. 1 over a over b will be b over a for any numbers a and b. And the a and b can be any number, any variable, or any mathematical expression. So look at this. 1 over x plus 2 over a minus 5 well, I just take this fraction and flip it over. This will equal a minus 5 over x plus 2. And sometimes we can simplify mathematical expressions by finding reciprocals and remembering that a number and its reciprocal will always multiply to equal 1. So look at these examples. 2a times 1 over a. Well, realize that the a times the 1 over a will equal 1. So those essentially cancel out. Or these things multiplied together give me a 1. And so I'm just left with the 2. Because the a times the 1 over a gives me a 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. Something similar happens here. I have a 1 ninth and a 9. And the 1 ninth times the 9 will give me a 1, and I'll be left with the negative and the x. So my answer is negative x. So this simplifies pretty easily if you find a number and its reciprocal multiplied together. We can do something similar here, 10 times 1 half x. Remember that 10 is 5 times 2. So I can rewrite this as 5 times 2 times 1 half times x. And the 2 times 1 half here is just 1. So that part is just 1. So I have 5 times 1 times x. So this is just going to equal 5x. So understand, understanding reciprocals can sometimes allow you to simplify expressions pretty quickly and easily. And reciprocals also end up being very important for division, which we'll be talking about in the next video.